Um, I'm converting a dumpster into a gallery space. I've put a roof on it and I have um, wiped clean the inside to to paint it and like even out the walls and kind of give it a nice polished interior. Lindsay Pennington is a sculpture student. Much of her practice involves turning discarded materials into works of art. But this time, she's creating an area where others can display their art. I'm not going to really hang anything in this space. It's, it's more about just like presenting it as a, like a creative art space. The electricity she installed makes these lights just right for gallery showcasing. I want people to feel that they're in just another like, space, like it's not a dumpster anymore. To take away from the dumpster feel, Lindsay has given these walls about two layers of paint. This helps create that gallery ambiance. It also allows this dumpster to last longer. When the steel is exposed and it gets rained on and it can rust. So, you know, the, any additional layers of paint are going to protect it a little bit. Andrew Lentini at UGA's Office of Sustainability helped Lindsay with the process of getting the dumpster. He says he's pleased with the art school's eco-conscious practices. The sculpture department typically uses cast off things and to make beautiful works of art out of them. But to some, Lindsay's dumpster is still just a place for trash. As I was painting the rear wall of the dumpster, um, some people walked by and assumed it was still a dumpster and tossed a Coke into the dumpster and it landed on me. Um,